if you want to understand um, where we're trying to go with the Arabian Leopard Initiative, just look at what we were able to accomplish as conservationists in the field in the Arabian Peninsula itself. Very few people understand how the captive breeding program that saw the recovery of the Arabian oryx has actually turned out to be one of the most inspirational case studies for captive breeding and reintroduction of any species anywhere in the world. Um, the recovery of the Arabian oryx is one of the most powerful models we have for the successful reintroduction of the Arabian leopard itself. So when we see an Arabian leopard cub born in captivity, we know where this can lead. Again, from being listed as being extinct in the wild, the Arabian oryx was reclassified in 1986 as endangered on the IUCN's red list. It was reintroduced to Oman, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Jordan, Syria, and the UAE. In 2011, with its global numbers increased to thousands, the Arabian oryx was the first animal ever to revert to, quote, vulnerable status after previously being listed as extinct in the wild. The truth is, everyone involved in that program remembers when the first Arabian oryx for this program was born in captivity. They had no idea that it was going to be as successful as it was, but we certainly do believe that with the births that we're seeing in Taif and ultimately in Al-Ula, we will be seeing the first paw prints of the success of the Arabian Leopard Initiatives.